sanitise this mic and get it swapped over and have a chat uh, to Luke Williams. A massive win for Luke and Stumpy. What a thrill, mate. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, I am. Um, yeah, it's a real thrill. I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure that's probably the biggest race I've won. So, yeah, so thank you, Lord. Thank you, Simon, for having the faith to put me on. Uh, big shout out to my family at home who backed me all the way. And, yeah, no. Nah, excuse me. I mean, absolutely awesome. Yeah. Matt, we'll get, uh, we'll get the, the bleepers out for that. Take us through at 4,600 metres. Did you always feel like you were travelling on the winner? Well, I watched his replays and had a word to Simon, so I went into the race pretty confident. I walked the track this morning and I knew there were a couple of spots where I could seriously make ground without doing anything, if I could get to them, of course, which I did go up the hill the second time, and he just rolled up there easy, making ground beautiful. Coming down to like, the final turn, I think it was McCarthy tried to drive me onto the inside. We've got to stay out here because like, it's better ground. Anyway, we stayed out there for a bit longer and made the ground we needed to and yeah, got the job done, so it was awesome. You said it probably ranks as your career highlight. How long have you been riding for? Bloody, I suppose, a lot of years, bro. Like, I think nearly 30. And what's yeah. the, the feeling like coming back to SCAR when you know you've won a $300,000 race, but a race that has so much significance behind it? Oh, it makes me probably want to get a bit more dedicated, lose some weight and try and win another proper big one, so yeah. No, it's good. Very, great. It's a great feeling, man. Great feeling. Great to see you in the winner's stall. Congratulations. Thank you. Hopefully, this is a horse that uh, you can stick with and he can be back next year and you can chase back to back. Well, hopefully, I'll run the jumps too, so that's what I'm looking forward to. All well right, done, mate. Take care. Thank you. Luke Williams there, winning jockey, and Ben, a, a very excited winning jockey, it's fair to say. The raw emotion coming through in his post race interview, and who would begrudge him that? Oh, absolutely outstanding, James. Loved hearing that from Luke and just seeing what it meant. And... Yeah, not only to Luke, his biggest win of his career, but also to Simon Wild. He's won a number of big races, but he just sort of put into context the significance of this race. So let's have a look at how he did it and was settling back um, off the speed aboard Count Zero. You see him out wide and a deliberate plan. It's worked off. Now, there, we heard that there were certain parts of the track that were softer than others around the paddock. He had that local knowledge, knew where to position his horse at the right time. We saw as they got towards the last thousand metres, his horse was... He had still had that sharpness in his legs, whereas the rest of them were uh, very tired chasing him. Yeah, and uh, Zed, uh, another uh, feather in, in his cap, of course, the sire of Very Elegant. He's had ZM, a grand annual winner, a champion jumper around Warrnambool, and now he gets the Jericho Cup winner in Count Zero, Dan Bula. Will John in for the Miners, alienated in for fourth. Definitely no disgrace, but the story of the day count zero for Simon Wilde and Luke Williams takes the 2020 Jericho Cup. More from Warrnambool. We've still got the last race to run, but right now, let's get a market for the next at Terrelgan.